Welcome back, everyone. Let's set the scene for this next set of highlights, shall we? It's girls soccer quarterfinals between the East Long Meadows Spartans and the Ludlow Lions. Nil-nil through extra time, and the game goes to penalties, and that's where we're going to take you. Madison Gent for East Long Meadows buries the first penalty into the side netting to start things off for the Spartans. Now it's Kate Del Negro for the Lions, who picks out the same corner, levels it for Ludlow. Jordan Addy is up next for the Spartans. He's going to slide it in for a cool and calm collected finish and a captain's contribution. Makes it 2-1 to one East Long Meadow on penalties. Callie Foley has something to say. The Lions number nine puts it away. But a couple of pens later, Ludlow makes the first mistake in the shootout. Valentina Molinara can only find the gloves of Juliana Gaudet. But the Lions catch a break with Sabina McKenzie, missing what would have been the winner. Emma Sousa, she's going to slot it home with the right foot to put the Spartans up. Ludlow had the opportunity to keep the shootout going. Denied by Gaudet. And the Spartans move on to the semifinal. Final score on penalties. East Long Meadow 4, Ludlow 3. Now in girls soccer, Westside hosting Chicopee Comp for the Western Mass Tournament quarterfinals. Westside's Addison Chapman passes it back to Bridget Moore, who takes a shot from deep and somehow finds the back of the net over the goalie's reach. Makes it 1-0 to Westside. Now we're going on to Caraval with a free kick opportunity to tie it up. Gets it deep into the box, but none of Comp forwards can define the goal. And we're going to go to another chance from Comp. Caravo takes the corner, centers it well, and it's booted into the net by Eliana Ayala. Finds the goal to even it up for Comp. And West Springfield going to end up winning on the home territory. Final score in that one. West Springfield 3, Comp 1. East Long Meadow hosting Chog and Boys Soccer. Starting off with a Spartan counterattack in the second half with Joe Presnell on the wing. Slides the pass to a Falcon and plays in Shea McCarthy. He slides it home. Makes it 1-0 to the Spartans. Dogs goalkeeper Ben Wilson with a beautiful distribution finds its way to Matthew O'Keefe who's striding down the wing, has the keeper off his line, slots it home with his left foot. Minichon going to level it at 1-1. Suddenly this quarterfinal has got interesting. East Longmeadow putting an attack together. The ball makes its way to Presnall, finds a way in front of the defender, makes it 1-1 -on -one with the keeper and slides a cold finish. Takes it 2-1 and that's how this game would end. Final score in this intense matchup. Minnetog 1, East Longmeadow 2. And we're going on to some football. Chickabee Comp versus Westfield. Kayvon Eddington takes the handoff on his own 45. Runs it up the middle and makes multiple people miss. He's home free for the 65-yard touchdown. Makes Westfield get up there 7-0. Botch delivery on the snap. Leaves the ball on the ground for Comp. And Westfield ends up taking over with a short field. Westfield in the red zone. Play action. Jackson St. Pierre throws the screen to Phoenix Whitaker, who trots into the end zone. Another touchdown for the Bombers. The kickoff after the Westfield score. Taken in by Josiah Feliz. Gets it on his own 15, but he's got something to say here. He's got some great blocking. He's got the right side open. He says, why not? I've got the Jets. Gets taken down around Westfield's 40-yard line. Next drive for Westfield. They hand it off to Eddington again, who takes it off the right end, finds some space. And boy, oh boy, can you ask for anything else? Another 65-yard touchdown for the running back after making a couple men miss. Westfield in the blowout comp with a final score in that one. Westfield 63, comp 0. Now we got East Hampton at Pope Francis for girls soccer. The Cardinals already up 5 to nothing in the second half. Long ball forward for Isabella Meadows. Takes it through the Eagles defense. Round the keeper. She slots it home. Makes it 6 to nothing, Pope Francis. Going to play another long ball forward for the Falcons. Falls at the feet of Meadows again. Puts the cheeky dink past the keeper. He's going to walk it home to make it 7 0 Pope Francis, and they're going to advance to the Class B semifinals. Final score in that one East Hampton nil, Pope Francis 10.